Rose Frances Long, the author of The Treachery of Beautiful Things, which is based on forest folklore and features the figure of the Green Man. A Green Man is a carving of a face or a sculpture surrounded by or made from leaves, flowers and growing things. He's an embodiment of the natural world and a symbol of resurrection. Jenny first sees the Green Man on the night Tom is taken by the trees. As she struggles through the enchanted forest of the realm in search of her long-lost brother, it always seems that the Green Man is no more than a step behind her, a constant threat hidden in the night. Like many forest legends, the Green Man is found all over the world. This is a legend so old that we don't have a concrete place or location for it. We find him peering through the trees of other stories, wearing many masks. There's something primal I love about the Green Man, about the way he worked himself into this story, and about his legend. He isn't human, he isn't even animal, he just is. And he doesn't really have the same concepts of good and evil that we would have. He, his mind doesn't work like that, which makes him a fascinating character. I have one more video on the way, in which I'll be talking about some of the modern world settings in The Treachery of Beautiful Things such as the Ridgeway, Wayland Smithy and the Uffington White Horse. Come and get lost in the realm.